check in for Libra. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? To create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings. <clears throat> Excuse me. And believe we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. Today's soul action, when we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate toward others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. Today's mantra, I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. Okay. What else do we have for Libra? We have self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. And I think we're all guilty of that at some point. It's just, it's hard to recognize in the moment. Um, but if you feel like things are not going your way, always check for that. Always check yourself because you have the power to control your own reality. All right, what else do we have for Libra? We have freedom. I definitely see that as like, this self-sabotage can be creating your own prison, but then are the boundaries you've put in place only for yourself or are you creating those boundaries against other people? So I think that that is the theme here is the boundaries, but still being vulnerable enough and open enough to receive. All right, how is this playing out for Libra? What do we have? And we have the Six of Swords. So moving into calmer waters, knowing when to leave a situation that you're not able to think straight. You, you need calmer waters to quiet things, to be able to think clearly about what it is that you really want. What else do we have? The Ace of Swords. And I feel like this is about laying down the law and you are the master of your life this is about you being stern and being um, clear on like it said where where others end and you begin there is a clear line there what's the challenge here and we have the king of pentacles so could be dealing with an earth sign um, but what I'm getting here is this has to do with work. It has to do with something that may be coming in between you and your manifestations. Your abundance, your ability to be prosperous. What is the advice from spirit here? And we have death. So it's an end to that. It's an end to... It's like at some point if you feel like your boundaries have been... Um, what's the word infiltrated or whatever um, there needs to be a stop a hard line an end to that what's the outcome here and we have the nine of pentacles being more independent being able to understand that you have your own set of values and your own set of work ethic that carries you to what you need from this job. That's what I'm getting. It definitely feels like job. It could be relationship, friendship, family, ships. <laughs> the bottom of the deck is the fool. And so I feel like what this is, is you taking a leap of faith. That's where this freedom comes in and being able to go on a new adventure. I feel like this is you making your life what you want it to be and not necessarily what others seem to think you should be doing. All right, so let's clarify. Show me that Six of Swords. 
and we have the seven of wands stand your ground you have the higher ground this is standing up for what you believe in standing up for yourself standing up for your truth show me that ace of swords and we have the five of pentacles so i feel like the truth is is that you feel like if you stand if you stand up for yourself that you'll end up alone that you will have no support that you will not have friendships um or that you're going to hurt someone's feelings but what about your feelings your feelings are hurt because people are overriding your boundaries show me this king of pentacles and we have the high priestess intuition so i feel like this is it does come back to this could be a boss figure where you feel like they're you know towing the line but um and so obviously this is a message that's very specific but i'm just getting this boss energy that is um overstepping their bounds and it gives you a certain feeling inside so it hasn't escalated but you feel like it's going to so show me this death card and we have the three of wands partnerships and alliances so i feel like this is those co-worker relationships i feel like this is all needs to be a stop put to it it's like um you're there to make your money you're there for to provide for yourself and if you insist on staying in the situation then you have to have these hard boundaries because the any other way is just not working this could also have to do with family putting their two cents in about how you live or um, what you're doing with your life show me this nine of Pentacles yes we have the Empress this is you being that abundant person you being the ruler of your life that's what I'm getting here is that there's there's someone that's either overstepping their bounds physically or overstepping their bounds with their input on how you live your life or what you do for a living or how much money you make whatever the case is at the bottom of the deck we have temperance so this is about understanding that um, this is something you've allowed to happen so now it's about healing that and understanding your worth and standing up for that all right so let's go ahead and get some guidance here what guidance do we have okay we have this one here vision trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul what else we have this one freedom again follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow so freedom is something that you're not experiencing right now and I feel like it's a big point here and let's get one more we have this one here starseed raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light i feel like you this is letting you know that you have a higher purpose in this situation in this lifetime so there is a higher purpose to the lessons that you're learning and the um the issues and stories that are played out for you so i definitely feel like spirit has a special message about freedom and self-sabotage for you at this time so those are the messages that came through thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and remember the universe has your back and so do i take care